Hi, I'm Dan. I'm a resident of Massachusetts. I've lived in New England for the last 10 years. And prior to that, I lived in the North Bay, California, my entire life. Uh, I registered as a Republican when I was 18, and I've held those same Republican values my entire life. There be the equality of all three branches of government, bringing influential decisions away from Washington, D.C. onto the state and local level, uh, and fiscally economic conservative values, uh, controlling that federal spending in Washington, D.C., uh, getting us back to a point where we can balance our budget and perhaps even run a surplus. The federal debt has spiraled out of control for decades, even before the coronavirus spending, and that's going to do so much damage to future generations. Uh, Washington officials, Republicans, used to talk about that kind of stuff. But that, amongst other things, they have been absolutely silent about the last four years. And that's because of Donald Trump. Um, I thought the party put a mediocre at best slate of candidates out there in 2016. I thought when Trump came spiraling down that escalator, he'd be a novelty for a couple of primaries, get 2 to 3% and be on his way never to be heard from again. But something about his angry, hateful message resonated with a lot of voters. And you combine that with the Democrats giving a really, really bad choice in Hillary Clinton. And some people felt like they had no alternative. Um, personally, I voted for Gary Johnson in 2016, knowing that was a long shot at best. I thought it was the Libertarian Party's one sliver opportunity to legitimize themselves and become a viable third party alternative. Uh, I thought if they had switched that ticket and had Bill Weld at the top of it, uh, maybe they could have got some money in, got some endorsements, got some of those small uh, L libertarians to moderate their stance and be a viable third alternative. Again, that was a long shot, but that's the choice that I made. But so many people felt like they had no choice. They either stayed home or they just held their nose and said, we need a businessman in Washington, D.C., and we need to have a more conservative Supreme Court. So I'll go ahead and vote for Donald Trump, even though I can't stand him. I know he's such an immoral bad guy. Uh, and look what it's gotten us. He has gotten exponentially worse since the 2016 election. He is the most narcissistic, racist, anti-immigrant, anti-woman leader that we've had uh, perhaps in the history of our nation. Uh, and he needs to go. Uh, you know, he talked about draining the swamp. Donald Trump was a resident of that same swamp for decades. It's not just career politicians. It's backroom deal makers, fundraisers, lobbyists. Donald Trump did all of that stuff. You know, Joe Biden, yes, he's a career politician, but at least he'll bring some normalcy back to the presidency. And we can feel normal again, we'll look normal again to the rest of the world. I trust that even if he makes some decisions that I disagree with, he's going to think of himself as a president for all Americans. And he's going to make that decision based on not just the people who support him, but he's going to do it in the best interest of the entire country. Uh, and it needs to be an absolute swamp of an election, a landslide. Uh, not just the famous six swing states, but it needs to be Georgia, Iowa, Ohio, Texas. It needs to be such a big gut punch to Donald Trump and those Washington Republicans who have sold their soul to Donald Trump for the last four years. They need to be told that, you know what, it was so bad that you need to start over. You know, you can't follow Trump's tweets and try and win re-election that way because America said no in 2020. Um, it needs to be such a landslide that nobody's going to tell Donald Trump when he complains about an illegitimate election and it was, it was a crooked election. Nobody's going to tell him you've got uh, uh, any hope if you go to the Supreme Court, which he'll try and do. Even Fox News uh, will even say, you know what, you lost. It was huge. It's over with. And we need to start over. The country needs to start over, and especially the Republican Party needs to start over. Um, so go to the polling, your polling place or mail in your ballot. Do it safely and vote for Joe Biden so we can start over and feel better about being Americans again.